But not only Duke of Edinburgh loved this place, both Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother and Prince Albert of Monaco visited it. Is this pinza azolana, which is the typical kind of sweet bread, a man with incredibly long legs. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Azolo, a lovely, lovely city in the heart of the Venetian region, nestled near the mountains. It is known as the city of 100 horizons and indeed you can see all the views, it has absolutely spectacular views. But the history of this place is even more spectacular, with so many prominent personalities having passed by this place, having lived here. And honestly, guys, I'm so excited to discover it and to show it to you. And if you're ready, let's go with me and let's see Azula together. Azula, guys, is the city of legends and mysteries and even spirits. And you know just how much I love the places like this with the stories like this. And actually, there are quite a few good reasons for that, because first of all, this place is so ancient. The first mentioning of Azula dates back to the first century BC when a Roman municipium was installed here. Can you just imagine? This city literally bursts history. And another reason might be that it has a form of a Scorpio, like literally the city had a form of a Scorpio and you can clearly see it when looking at the city map. Who knows if that's a symbol of something or if that, you know, uh, defines the city's history and this uh, aura, this energy. But I'm so excited to learn more about all the spirits haunting this place. And obviously I'm gonna tell everything to you in just a few moments. Right as you get here, guys, you already notice it that it's not a typical small, sleepy Italian town. First of all, because there are so many tourists. I didn't expect it at all because there are people uh, from all over the world. It seems at least like that because you can hear English from French and other languages and wow. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, there are tons of really, really cute shops and although it's not exactly Christmas time yet, I wish it was because it's never too early for Christmas in my opinion, but here there are already so many places decorated for Christmas. We're filming it right now in the middle of November, so yeah, you know, one town is decorated, other cities not, but here it feels already like Christmas and I like it. And as I said, there's so many nice and cute shops, nice cute cafes, and also the people here are also very, very friendly. So yeah, it actually feels like a perfect day escape, a perfect day trip. I already like it so much. Speaking of all the important historical figures uh, linked to this place, I couldn't avoid mentioning a certain Caterina Cornaro, who was the queen of Cyprus, but her story began long before that. She was born to an influential family from Venice that has produced four Doge, and when she grew older, she was 14 to be exact, she got married to James II of Cyprus. Her husband died shortly after the marriage, leaving her pregnant, but her child also died and she became an official queen of Cyprus. However, due to the various reasons, among which the fear of the Ottoman uh, conquest, the Republic of Venice decided to take over Cyprus and she abdicated. Now you would ask why and how 
she ended up here in Azalo. And the answer is actually quite simple. She was granted the title of Lady of Azalo, although she was allowed to keep her title of Queen and she lived here. She lived in this castle, guys. And during her time here, and it was in the middle 15th century, Azalo became famous for its uh, literary and artistic life. So many events have been held here, so many prominent artists and writers visited this place. And yeah, she left this legacy, she left the castle behind. And it was a sad story, in my opinion. It was a sad story of her life, but still, she was one of the first really, really important historical figures to call this place home. One of the main reasons why I wanted to visit Azola is because it used to be home of Freya Stark, a famous English travel writer, explorer, traveler, who spent many, many years here. She loved Azola and so, yeah, not by chance, she made her villa here. And she's famous for having traveled all around the Middle East and she was even called the Queen of Desert. But she always loved coming back here to Azola to enjoy the quite slow life here to concentrate on her writing and drawing. She was an incredibly talented person who loved to travel, so obviously I had to pass by here. You can visit this villa, but it's only with the guided tour, so yeah, you can always book it and go see it inside. There is a wonderful garden inside as well. Among other famous visitors to this town, guys, there were at least two members of the British royal family. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, used to spend time here visiting uh, Lord Neville, who had a villa here in Azala. And locals who were kids of the workers of that villa uh, in that period of time recount uh, the encounters with him and how he mistaken persimmons for the oranges, which also happened to me. A few videos back, I mistaken persimmons for apples. Well, it happens to everybody, you know. But not only Duke of Edinburgh loved this place, both Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and Prince Albert of Monaco visited it and loved it so much here. And I can totally get why. You guys, on the other hand, can have a true royal holiday here in the Hotel Villa Cipriani that was chosen by both the Queen Mother and Prince Albert. Hotel Villa Cipriani is a fantastic luxury hotel boasting incredible views and impeccable service. This year, this hotel made its way to the top 10 European hotels where guests would love to return, which says a lot about guest satisfaction. With Villa Cipriani's luxury interiors, their spectacular park and garden with an infinity pool, or the feeling of being in your own country house thanks to the friendliness of the staff, this place will for sure make you feel like royalty. Inside the hotel, you can enjoy the American bar that reflects another creation of one of the former owners of the Villa Cipriani, the famous Harry's Bar in Venice. Besides, you can enjoy the authentic drawings by Freya Stark while sipping on your morning coffee. I will of course leave you a link in the description box so you can check this magnificent place out and reach out to them and book your royal holiday here. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you love discovering these cute little Italian towns with me, if my content helps you in planning your trips to Italy, and if you want to support my channel and help me make even more videos for you, 
Don't forget to hit the thanks button down below right near the thanks button. A huge shout out and a huge thank you from me to everybody who's already supported my channel either through super thanks or through subscribing to my Patreon. And if you haven't seen my Patreon yet, I'd love to welcome you there. There I post weekly travel itineraries, customizable travel itineraries and bi-weekly expat life advice with lots of details and lots of useful information for you whether you're traveling to Italy or planning to move here, I'm pretty sure you'll find something exciting for you there. So check out the link in the description box and I will see you there. Although technically we're not in the Alps yet, there is this vibe of a mountain town here uh, with all these different cafes having local uh, desserts and milled wine. So yeah, we got some milled wine, we got some desserts and we'll try them right now. So the first thing we got, guys, is this pinza azolana, which is the typical kind of sweet bread. It looks kind of like panettone to me, but it's not. And it is a typical dessert, typical pastry of this town, not even the area, but this town. And the lovely man who sold me this pizza told me that the recipe goes back to the old times when uh, poor people had the leftovers of polenta and bread and other stuff. And so they threw it all together and added milk and added other stuff and baked it. Nowadays, the dessert has been changed a little bit. There are um, different, uh, I think there is orange. Yeah, there are oranges and lemons inside and it smells amazingly and it's very good guys in fact it doesn't taste like panettone it's very different but it's also very very good perfect uh, autumnal or winter pastry as for me another thing is this focaccia with uh, apple compote so ouch it actually is a bit hard but let's try to okay let's so look what it looks like inside it looks like sweet bread and it's supposed to have apples inside. It smells very good as well, so let's try it too. <laughs> this one's different. It's harder, it's more like something between a biscuit and bread, but it's also sweet, also nice. Oh, I think I love pinza a bit more, but both are perfect for this weather for this time of year, accompanied by milled wine. And yeah, I already love this sound. Just to highlight once again just how attractive this place has always been to prominent figures and creatives, talented people, this house used to be the house of Eleonora Duse, who was a very famous Italian actress and obviously as an ex-theatre and film studies major, I couldn't avoid mentioning it and I really wanted to see it. And by the way, not only did she spend her last years here in Azalo, but she's also buried in the local cemetery. There is an abundance of local legends about different ghosts and spirits haunting this city. And one of those, pretty obviously in my opinion, is the one of Eleonora Duse, who lived here and now it is said that her ghost still comes here to the city to enjoy the place she once loved so much. But there are other quite unsettling legends about different ghosts and spirits here. Uh, the spirits of Azalo include a rather mischievous one that is said to look like a man with incredibly long legs and apparently he or she, probably he, loves to mess with the locals turning into various animals. And yeah, people say that I have encountered this spirit. Speaking of animals, there is also a legend of these kind of diabolic dogs uh, that turned into ghosts after their owner saved them from fire instead of saving his own family. And finally, 
the local cemetery is full not only of the tombs of notorious people but also of this local kind of spirits but they're not ghosts they are spirits that are said to light up kind of torches during the night on local cemetery and people said they've encountered them as well so who knows guys this city seems to be full of interesting legends and yeah occasional ghosts maybe we'll see one today maybe not That's it for today guys i hope that you enjoyed this quaint little town that is so lovely and so soulful and beautiful i would love to come back here once again to spend a few days here who knows if i get to get a villa here as well one day well we'll see anyway i totally get all these famous people who visited it because it's magical but yeah you know i love all italian towns but this one is very very distinct Anyway guys, if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below so you don't miss anything. And as always, don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day!